To other stories. Now, after being granted bail by the Tama High Court, it appears that Oliver Bakavoma will spend at least one more night behind bars. This is because the court is still in the process of verifying documents on landed properties of one of his sureties and thus cannot execute the bail until a reply is received from the Lands Commission. Mr. Bakavoma was granted a two million city bail with two sureties. But leaders of the Fix the Country movement are alleging that the state is frustrating the process for him to be released. Felicity Nelson is a leading member of the group. And Oliver's been able to provide all the necessary things to meet his bail condition, so sureties and everything have been provided. But unfortunately, the police, the crime officer, they don't know where he is. He's currently not here, and he's the one supposed to take, um, sh to go back to the court, to the registrar at the court, to show that Oliver has been able to meet all the bail conditions, so that he can actually release him, and he, he's nowhere to be found. So as you can see, the police are deliberately frustrating the process because right now they said provide x y and z we've provided it yet the crime officer is not around why would he not be around you know we went to court you know we're going to be here you knew about this proceeding why is the crime officer nowhere to be found so that's the update so the update is that the police are frustrating the process so oliver until they if hopefully if they're able to locate the crime officer today he'll be released today but if not then we don't know maybe tomorrow or the day after that so that's the current situation Let's go to Zoom now for some update on this. Felicity Nelson joins us uh, with the latest on this development. Felicity, I'm grateful that you could join us on Join News Prime. So you gave us an update earlier uh, today uh, about the process. Uh, what do we know right now? Uh, how far have you gone with you know, efforts to secure bail for him? So at the stands now, Oliver's still at the Shaman Police Station um, because the registrar has asked that she wants to, they want to take Tomorrow, they need to go to the Lands Commission to go and, you know, uh, verify the sureties that have been provided. Mm. So he's spending another night behind bars. Yeah. Um, have you heard from the lawyers? What did they make of this development? Um, the, well, the lawyers, I guess they're not surprised by this development. I and mean, if that's what the registrar is saying, there's something that can happen. And there are, there's many times where they, the registrar does they do go through this process of going to the Lands Commission to verify these things. So it's not um, out of order for them to ask for that. So, so this then, uh, you know, clarifies the issue that you raised earlier of uh, what appears to be an attempt to delay the process to get him to stay um, uh, in the, the prison. Is, there's different um, things at play here. So that was back then I was talking about the police, right? So let's say if tomorrow they say they're doing verification and it takes, and it takes let's say, a week two days, three days, four days, a week, two weeks, and you could, then, I could, then I'll start talking about how the registrar is also being used to frustrate the process. Well, as it stands right now, um, by the time they even got to the court this evening, due to the police's delay, remember when we couldn't find the crime officer, due to that delay, they got to the court around five, and I'm sure you're aware courts close at three. So that already, you know, today was already gone. So tomorrow we'll see how if they're going to expedite the process, if they're, you know, if they're going to come up with some excuses. And we're just waiting to see what happens tomorrow, mm -hmm. at least from the registrar's side of things. But, but you have to understand that the state can still use bureaucracy and can still use institutions to frustrate the process. It is not, it is not, um, it is not um, something that cannot happen. It can happen that, yes, they'll say, oh, we're following the process, but they can use that process to frustrate you, you know, from the fact that the police took him to the district court instead of the high court, a court that can remand or can't grant bail. These are all ways in which the system, they can use the system and the law and procedures to frustrate you. Uh, how is Oliver doing? And can you confirm for us if indeed uh, he's embarked on another uh, hunger strike of a sort yes, uh, yes. because of this yes, latest development. Yes, exactly. Due to, um, he said it was due to the police and the way they've been act they've acted, especially today. So he's on a hunger strike until um, the police start to act right. Felicity, thank you very much for joining us, and we'll keep our tabs on this uh, story and bring you more in our subsequent bulletins.